Hey everyone, this is Airless Silver or Silver from the Silver and Shadow Hub, as people might know me, or Big Silver One, whatever. Did my I changed my name because me and Shadow figure since none of us are able to record any video games for a while, that we would we would both make our own respective YouTube channels, and until one of us is able to record, then we would then we would create the commentary channel. So like. So I've, this was my channel originally before we transformed it into the Silver and Shadow thing. So now it's my channel again. So now it's called Airless Silver. <laughs> Why not? But yeah, so today I was on YouTube uh, messing with my settings. And wouldn't you know it, I had two copywritten videos. And I was like, what? No, three copywritten videos. I was confused. I was like, what? One of them I was able to acknowledge and it was fine. Two of them, one being Problem Children and the other one being Zam, got copyrighted and muted. So I'm re-uploading those two videos. I'm re the problem was because the uh, the music of both openings were in the video, so uh, I can easily fix that. The thing is though, with Zam, the opening is really hard to find because the opening is made by a band, and so if you were to, for example, type in, type in on Google the opening to like Zam opening one or opening two, you are not gonna find it. Your best bet is to torrent it, but I don't really figured. I don't really uh, know where to do that. So yeah, I'm re. I'm re. -re I'm re reviewing Problem Children. Now Problem Children, as everyone knows. It started as, like every anime, it starts out as a light novel, which came out April 1st, 2011. And it's still going to this day. It's got 10 volumes. It has a manga, which came out September 2012 and finished January 2014. The anime <clears throat> came out January 11, 2013 and finished March 15, 2013. It's got 10 episodes and one OVA that it takes at uh, one OVA. Which I wouldn't really count as an OVA because it says 10 episodes, but the OVA is actually episode 11 because the OVA takes place right after episode 10. <laughs> now I'm I'm gonna try and make this short because I don't want to re I don't want to re review this already even though I already did it. Problem children, the good and bad things I like about problem children. Like I said in the original video, everybody. Everybody is powerful as shit in their own way. The main character, one of the main characters, Isaiah Yo, has the power to destroy stars with his bare hands. With his fucking fist. <laughs> He's got the power to destroy stars. Meaning, like, if you, uh, attack him with some type, like, if you attack him with some Medusa type ability, he can easily stop it. Like, he will not get affected by it. He will not turn to stone or anything. Mm. Another good thing is that... I, the, the thing I like about this anime is that everyone from the anime is from a different dimension or a different timeline. Which I found pretty fucking cool. And everyone lives in the center of every dimension. Every timeline. So each dimension and each timeline, each different planet all connects to that one place. Which is pretty awesome. <laughs> The anime is kind of like fairy tale. Each place has a a guild, you could say, and they're part of the No Name Guild, which is the worst guild until they join it. <laughs> it's an action comedy fantasy, which I like. And for ten, for eleven episodes, OVA, whatever fuck, it was really good actually. I'm just disappointed that it was short. Hopefully, they might bring it back. Now, for the bad things, I only have one bad thing to say is that. It it was short. I expected like it to keep going, and who knows? Because apparently the manga just recently finished, so who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? So that's all I gotta say. Now I have to go and <laughs> re-review Zam. I'll see you all in a couple minutes. Bye bye.